How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be talking about the gameplay feature premiere that was live about a couple hours ago and you can actually hop on the MLB The Show 22 tech test and try this out for yourself. So uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about are some of the brand new features. They did confirm quite a few things that I've been saying about MLB The Show and MLB The Show 21 and kind of how the game would play. Uh, in terms of trying to get the barrel out in front. If you go back and watch any of my hitting tip videos, you will be able to see the fact that, uh, and hear the fact that I'm explaining some of that stuff as well. So um, a couple of these things, and I'm gonna be looking at the screen per se. Um, but at the same time, I'm gonna just show you the difference in PCI when you're moving the ball. I'm not gonna swing here a few times in a row. Um, but the difference when you're moving the PCI up above the strike zone and below, I did notice this a little bit during the tech test, and I actually had some gameplay where I hit a few home runs up above the strike zone. Uh, one of them was on the Switch as well, if you go back and watch that gameplay video. Um, but I, I do like a lot of the brand new features. They're subtle features, right? But they mentioned uh, the fact that you can move this PCI. It's a, it feels a little bit more sensitive. I don't know if they mentioned that during the stream. Um, but this is just one part and the biggest part of this is the fact that we have some widgets within custom practice So if we go to practice type fielding we can go in uh, player lock certain things This is not available on the tech test But this will be available once the game is released and if you are able to repeat the hit or if you give up a home run or a robbed home run situation if you go to a fly ball or something like that, right? Maybe a fly ball to, oh, now it is available. So that's interesting. You have to kind of set the play before it's available. Let's see here. Let's just do this and see what happens. I have actually never, I've never done this before because I was, this wasn't something that I was really looking for in the tech test. I was trying to just play the game, get a feel for it. But I think this is pretty cool. There were a lot of people during the live stream that were spamming uh, you know franchise and stuff like this all these features will be available in franchise um, I feel like we're gonna get this same exact hit over and over again. Okay, that one was a little bit different um, But once I guess this might take you a little bit, but you can just practice Robbing home runs over and over again. They mentioned that I thought that was pretty sweet um, Overall, I'm really excited about this game. These are like the main things I think that they have revamped custom practice, which is cool uh, the people spamming franchise and some, I saw people some some people saying that the PCI is cheating um, on YouTube. Th those people probably need to practice with zone hitting in custom practice. They need that, and th that will help them in their franchise mode. Um, but I know that these guys are catering towards the new players, towards um, you know Switch players, brand new MLB The Show 22 fans, and uh, Diamond Dynasty because that game mode does bring in a lot of revenue. Um, I'm going to be spending money on stubs. You don't necessarily have to. And it'll be the show's the best game to buy. If you're not looking to spend money on an ultimate team mode, you can pretty much get every single card in the game without spending money. You just have to kind of put the time in, put the time into the community market, make some stubs that way. Um, so far, we haven't, we haven't seen a home run yet. But I think that this is pretty cool. I also like the fact that we, are, we will have perfect throws to every base. That is the other main feature. And let's take a look at that. I don't remember that being available in the tech test where you can have perfect throws from the infielders to first base, but the outfielders, I, I do remember that being part of it. Um, so see, I'm, I'm kind of loading different bases. I'm, try, I'm trying to throw to first, I'm throwing to third, it's not working, but second base, I do have the perfect throwing meter. Cut off, nope. Home, nope. I think I might have to put a runner in order to get that perfect throwing meter. I don't know. Um, but these are things we can test. We can test different stuff within the game. I, I really do like this. I like the fact that they put up the graphics. They put up uh, the perfect hits and averages and exit velocities. They talked a lot about um, you know, timing and how you wanna hit the ball, right? If it's an outside pitch, you wanna swing later. If it's an inside pitch, you wanna swing earlier on the earlier side of good. These are all things that I've been talking about in Diamond Dynasty and MLB The Show specifically. Um, I don't think they mentioned a whole lot of changes with pitching, um, other than the fact that they have adjusted pinpoint a little bit. I don't know. I'm excited for the, the content stream. I know we just had Chase Sutley released as a brand new legend. 
I know that uh, Randy Johnson was revealed and hopefully is still in the game. I believe I saw on Twitter that he is. Did they confirm that during the stream? I did not get a chance to check that part out. Uh, but I'm extremely excited about MLB The Show and about all of the uh, about all the brand new stuff that we're going to have at game launch. I, I'm excited about the content. Uh, I'm excited about kind of restarting and building my team over from scratch. But this is a lot of fun too, just kind of going into the tech test. I know I'm still practicing and playing MLB The Show 22. It is going to be a little bit difficult to transition from 21 to 22. I just... I noticed some of the the minor changes with the way the game is playing. Um, I like it. I think 22 is better than 21. I think it's going to be after they patched a few times. I know this isn't the final product. Every time I'm looking at the recording, I, I swing late. But I know this isn't the final product. I know they're going to make adjustments. I'm excited about it. I'm definitely excited about it. We can reset the play here. We can repeat the play on defense. Uh, what else is there? I know they talked about the graphics. The graphics and uh, the timing windows and things like that. I know they went and showed a lot of this stuff in franchise games or exhibition games. Um, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the new features, about the gameplay stream. And uh, definitely check out some of the previous Hitting Tip videos, some of the slow motion PCI placement videos where I break some of this stuff down and talk about it. But the biggest thing is the fact that the PCI shrinks. Um, you know what? I'm going to try something real quick. I'm going to go ahead and focus on all outside zones. Hopefully he throws pitches off the plate. But I want to try to wait on it. Nope. Try to wait on it and go the other way. We will see some different swing animations. I don't think they mentioned that. I don't think they mentioned it. I saw it with Chase Utley. That was not outside. I saw it with Chase Utley. Uh, he had a different swing animation when a pitch was hit the other way. And then he had a two-handed swing when the pitch was pulled. Uh, there we saw a different animation from uh, Xander Bogarts there. As he kind of opened up. I, I don't even know how to explain that really. He uh, kind of got into it with his, with his weight a little bit. There's another one. That one was uh, almost a glitched animation. Uh, let's see if we can... Can we replay that? Nope. Can't do a replay. Uh, but we could go back 10 seconds and watch it again. That was weird. That kind of cut out a little bit. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think about this game. I'm extremely excited. I did like the fact that they talked about the contact swing increasing the PCI size. I'm going to do it right here. Missed the ball completely. And uh, the power swing decreasing the PCI size. It seems like vision is not going to matter a whole lot. This year, they did talk about contact. I know uh, vision didn't matter a whole lot last year. For me, it was more about the timing windows rather than the PCI size. Um, I'm just surprised that they didn't really mention that a whole lot. Or I might have missed it. I was doing a lot of different things when the stream was going on. Um, but let me know what you guys think. That's it for this video. Just playing the tech test a little bit. Working on some pitches, I guess, down the middle. I, I picked fastballs away. But maybe when I reset it, it went back to down the middle. Uh, I don't know. I really like this so far. Let me know what you think. And uh, if I was able to help you out in some way, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. I'm going to be posting a lot of MLB The Show 22 content. I'm going to be doing some pack openings, some gameplay videos right away. I'm going to be doing some tip videos, some prediction videos. Just a lot of the same stuff. And I'll put some twists on it. Until next time, peace out.